Doesn't the order of fossils in the rock record favor long ages? Does the order of fossils in the rock record favor long ages? Absolutely not. Let's look at the order in the fossil record. When we go to the lowest layers, we find only marine fossils, shallow water marine invertebrate fossils. And it's only higher in the record that we find the remains of amphibians, then reptiles, and birds and mammals. Now, what does the Bible say? The Bible says that the flood began in the ocean basins. The fountains of the great deep broke open. And that means the ocean floor was ripped apart. You would have generated tsunamis or tidal waves that would have moved towards the ocean, towards the continents. That means they would have ripped up the sediments on the ocean floor, picked up the shallow marine uh, critters and dumped them up on the continents. And that's exactly what we find in the record. The shallow water marine creatures are buried first. Then as the ocean waters rise higher and higher, they're going to bury the suffocated fish and then they're going to overwhelm amphibians and then the reptiles, the mammals and the birds. It's interesting that we find in the fossil record the footprints of the uh, mammals and the birds, the reptiles and the amphibians before we actually find the whole critter buried and fossilized. And that fits exactly with what the Bible says about the flood because these critters who are quite mobile, unlike the, the corals that have to stay in one place so they're easily overwhelmed, the fish, well, they sense a certain amount of danger and then they suffocate and get buried. But the amphibians, the reptiles, the birds and the mammals, they can sense danger, they're more mobile, they can move around. And that's what they did. They were running around on, on wet surfaces leaving their footprints, swimming in the waters, leaving more footprints until they finally got overwhelmed by the flood waters and were buried. Look at, look at the picture another way. If we take habitats on the present earth, we've got different habitats at different elevations. So at the bottom of the Grand Canyon, for example, we've got a desert environment with cacti. At the top of the Grand Canyon, the south rim, we've got Ponderoso Pine. Now imagine the flood waters progressively rising, they will progressively bury these different habitats. And so you don't get mixtures, you get these different habitats. And that's exactly what we see. Marine habitats buried first and later land habitats. So the land creatures would have been buried last. And that fits exactly what the Bible says. Does it need long ages? Absolutely not. With the catastrophic global flood as described in the Bible, you have these sediments being ripped up, the creatures being buried and fossilized in an order that fits exactly what the Bible says about the progression of the flood. So no, the order of the fossils do not favor long ages, but they do fit with the biblical record of the Genesis flood.